we are facing now a very important challenge in terms of how we manage the large movement of people from conflict areas. My research look at the effect of crisis, be a security crisis or an economic crisis in countries, let's say, Syria, or Libya, Afghanistan, the north of Africa, that have prompted a large movement of people, millions, that come to Europe looking for a safer place to be, to live, and to work. Also, crises like the effect of the 2008, 2009, that started in the US, that uh, came to Europe, affect other areas of the world, have affected the flows of migration. People leave countries that are uh, in crisis situation, where they cannot find jobs, where their salaries and incomes have plummeted, and they want to go to more prosperous countries when they have more economic security. Crisis can spread through the movement of people. You may have an economic crisis in the US, like it happened in 2008 and 2009. People emigrated, went to Europe, let's say, or stopped coming to the US, and you create a crisis in other countries. Migration is a mechanism through which crisis can be spread out globally. One response to economic crisis is people to leave the country that has affected by those crises. Greece has been affected by eight years in a row of negative economic growth every year, one year after the other. Near 500,000 people have left Greece, and those people are professionals, medical doctors, architects, lawyers, entrepreneurs, bright students, leave the country because they don't have jobs, they cannot invest, uh, there is no money in the university to pay the fellowships, they have to leave. My research is showing that the, a large inflow of people coming to your country can be a blessing, but it also may introduce problems, can create costs, can be a, somewhat a curse. They can play a very important role in the developing of your economy. They bring new skills, they may bring capital, they bring a positive attitude to work, to risk-taking, you increase the cultural diversity, the knowledge of your base of your society. The cost of migration could be that you have all of a sudden a large inflow of people that you were not prepared, you didn't expect this flow to come almost overnight or in a short period of time. You need to provide housing to the immigrants. You need to provide jobs to the immigrants. The, their children have to go to schools. They have to have access to hospitals. It's very important for countries to be prepared to receive sometimes large inflow of international migrants to your country, because in that way you are going to reduce the cost of immigration and increase the possibility that those migrants make a very important contribution to the recipient country.